Now, as a beat maker, you want to achieve the best results as fast as possible. In order to do that, you watch hundreds of mixing tutorials. But did you know that mixing's actually not your job? It's what the mixing engineer does. Besides the absolute beat mixing basics, you don't need to learn anything else. Let me explain to you why that is. When you make a beat, you probably put it on YouTube to promote it, so that you can then sell it on BeatStars or whatever platform you're working with. Now, when an artist buys your beat, he will record his vocals on it. The mixing engineer will mix the entire song all over again. So I want you to stop wasting hours on trying to mix perfectly and instead spending more time on actually crafting your beats. But of course, with that being said, there are a few basic things you should do after you're done cooking. Step one, leveling your beats. So here are all of the sounds you used in the channel rack. We're gonna send them to the mixer. To do that quickly, click and drag the selection boxes of every sound. Then hit Ctrl plus L on your keyboard. Now all your sounds are sent to the mixer track and it took over the colors and labels. No need to name them individually. Then in the mixer, hold down Ctrl and select all the tracks. Now bring them down to zero. Okay, when it comes to how loud a certain element in your beat must be, I don't wanna give you specific dBs because it depends on the sample, the genre, and of course your own style. However, what I can do is teach you guys how to listen to your levels and make sure everything is balanced. In trap and hip hop, the drums and bass are usually prominent. So let's start with that. First, I like to increase all my drums at once instead of one at a time. Just make sure the kick and snare are most prominent. For the hi-hats, this actually depends on your style. Some people like it loud, some producers want it more in the background. Now as a general rule, I try not to exceed minus 6 dB. That leaves little headroom, because the master is gonna get louder once you add more sounds. Then slowly add in the other elements until you're satisfied. Keep in mind the genre you're working on. In my case, the drums must be the loudest. Now, to add balance to the kick and 808 even more, we're gonna sidechain them, and it's actually super easy. Click the link on the pinned comment down below to learn everything about it. All right, now, this is actually 90% of the technical mixing that you need to do. The rest is just some basic EQing and perhaps a little bit of panning. For panning, you can use the panning knob in the mixer track. You can slightly pan elements like the hi-hats, open hi-hats, perks, and even counter melodies. This will move them away from the center and leave Leave more space for the important elements in the middle, like your kick, snare, and 808. And now that everything is leveled, we're going to step number three, using an EQ for more clearance. So now you have the feeling like your melody is too much in the background, but when you increase the volume, everything becomes muddy, and especially the low end. There is a simple fix for that. Go to your melody track, and in the effects rack, open up an equalizer. Then once it's open, go to the preset menu and click on the second one. You can now cut away the low end of your melody to make more space for the low end elements in your beat. Chances are you don't even have to increase the volume of your melody now. Real quick, my friend at Mixelite created a free vault with more than 300 secret FL Studio tips that you will absolutely love. You can just type in whatever you want to know and that's it. Click the link down below to check out more. Now back to mixing. This is actually all you really need to do as a beat maker. If your beat sounds really good and your leveling is on point, you don't really need to worry about anything else because the mixing engineer will do that for you. However, you should have a mastered version of your beat because if you want to upload it to YouTube, it has to sound loud and clear. But it doesn't have to be professionally mastered because again, it's not your job. To continue the lesson and learn everything about compression and mastering, click the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.